In uh, section uh, 4.7, we have what we call the uh, predeterminers. Remember, we said we have determiners, we have the determiners, we have uh, another group, we call them predeterminers, and then we have post determiners. Post determiners. Here we have the predeterminers. In fact, we have three subcategories of predeterminers. The first group consists of three elements, three members. All, both, and half. The second uh, group, we have what we call multipliers. 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 And the third category is we have what we call the fractions. So we have the, multi uh, the first group consists of, uh, of three elements. All, both, half. And this, then we have the multipliers. Uh, timing and we have the fractions now we leave these two next time we'll take them and we take the first group of uh, this pre or this pre uh, these predeterminants how do we use them again with the relation with what with the with this box of the nouns we classify the nouns or our all nouns either uh, bottle uh, either countable or non count uh, uncountable, either singular or plural. Suppose we give this, for example, this, we call it number one, and we call this one number two, and this box number three. Just number, in order to avoid words, we give, so when do we use all? We use all before, before what? Before one, two, and the three. So we, call, we can say all the door, all the bottle. We drank all the bottle, or they drank all the, say, cup. So, all can be used before, or we can use it, all bottles are empty. All bottles are empty. Or we can say, all milk was drunk. All milk was drunk. So then, all can be used before what? Before number one, the singular, before two, the plural, and before number three, the if we come to say half, half again can be used before what? Before one and two and the three. Say half the bottle was drunk. Half the bottle was drunk. Half the door or half the room was painted. So half can be used before. Or we say before the number two, the uh, uh, plural. Have the students pass the exam? Have the students? So half can be, and also can be used before three to say half of the uh, the half of the juice was uh, drunk, half of the food was eaten. So then, according to their use, we can use them before and uh, while both the last one. Both can be used only where? Only before number two. Only before number two when it has a meaning of what? So both writers. Both writers mean we have what? Two writers. We cannot say both writer or a writer. No, it is not, of course, writer singular. And both means two. And also we cannot use before, for example, here, both copy. No. Then means before number two, when it has a meaning of two, not all types of two. Two could be three, four, five, whatever number. But we use both only when uh, before plural, when it has uh, the meaning of just two. This is the first feature of what predeterminant. The second uh, feature of determiners is what we call of construction. Of construction. What is meant by of construction means we can use of with these words, with these expressions, to show the uh, uh, to show or has some uh, uh, construction means this is we say optional optional with say noun but obligatory. Obligatory with pronoun, with the pronoun or pronouns. What is meant 
me, for example, we say all of the writers. See? All of the writers. Here it is what? It is, we call it optional. It is optional. Means we can, we can say all the writers. But we say all of them. Here it is obligatory. We cannot say all of them. We have to say what? All of them. So because writer is a noun, so of is optional. But when we change na uh, uh, the, the noun into uh, pronoun, then of uh, became as what? Obligatory. Or both. Both. Again, of the say, river. Both of the rivers, we say both of them. See, both of the river, we can say both what? Both rivers. Both of the rivers, or say both rivers. We can delete, but here we cannot delete. We have to say both of them. We cannot say both them. So here it is what? And also with half. Half. Again, of the half of the, uh, for example, Jews, half of the Jews. And we say half of it. Half of it. It means the Jews. As you know, Jews is drinkable. So we say half of the Jews, or we say half the Jews. But when we change juice into it pronoun, it, the, the of became what? Become, became uh, as what? As uh, obligatory and optional. Again, we, uh, of course, we have other uh, two or three features uh, concerning the predeterminers. Uh, this is what we call, uh, it means we can replace the, these determiners with the nouns. Means if we mention nouns, we can replace these nouns with determiners. If we say, for example, the students pass the exam, we can say both of them pass of the exam. If we say two students pass the exam, then we can remove the two students and we say both of them or both pass the exam. Means we put both both instead of. Also with half, if we mention half of something or we mentioned amount, then we can remove these things or this noun and replace it only with half. Also with all, instead of mention, they say farmers are working hard, we can say all are working hard, instead of the word what? Farmers. So we delete farmers and we put only all. So it is possible to use these words instead of what? Instead of nouns, means we mentioned the nouns, in other words, they can be used as what? As a pronouns. As we usually use the pronouns instead of nouns, it is possible to use these as a pronouns. It means instead of what? Of the uh, nouns.